Hello everyone. In today's project, we will be decoupaging on a metal box. Now, this decoupage would not be an entire napkin transfer, but would be a collage style decoupage. So, let's get started. Take some chalk paint of the color of your choice and with the help of a sponge dabber, dab it onto the metal box so as to cover the entire box. When working with chalk paint, it is always advisable to use a sponge dabber. However, for the difficult areas, you could use a brush. With two coats of chalk paint, allowing them to dry in between coats, when completely dry, the box would look like this. I didn't want to paint the interior of the box, so I left it as it is. So today we will not be using a decoupage napkin but would be working with cutouts of different floral motifs. These motifs are of various thicknesses. Some are crepe paper, some cardstock. I also have some motifs that are cut out from a decoupage napkin. For these cutouts, do not separate the plies of the napkin like we usually do. We have to leave the plies on because we have painted our base in a different color and not white. So if we take off the plies, we would not be able to see the motif clearly. Start placing the motifs onto the painted box and decide on how you would want the final arrangement to be. Once all the motifs are placed according to your desired arrangement, take some decoupage glue and picking one motif up at a time so as not to disturb the arrangement, apply glue on the box and stick the motif back in place, rubbing your fingers over it to smoothen out any wrinkles or air bubbles. Repeat the same process with the rest of the motifs, making sure you don't disturb the arrangement too much. For the motifs that have been cut out from decoupage napkin, do not separate the plies as I said earlier and brush on the glue directly onto the motif, smoothening and straightening it out in the process. Once all the motifs are glued down and secured in place, Take decoupage glue on a flat brush and start applying a thick layer over each motif. Once done, leave it to dry. This is what it would look like once completely dried after an hour or so. Next, I would be using a set of distress inks of different colors to give the floral motifs dimension and also give the box a slightly aged effect. Take a relatively hard bristled brush, rub it over the ink pad a few times over and start applying the ink on the edges of the motif. 
you would have to blend at least 2 to 3 different colors of distress ink to achieve the desired look. Once all the motifs have been worked on, we would also like to age the box slightly. Apply a slightly darker shade of the Distress Ink onto the edges and the raised portions of the box to give it an aged look. Blend in any harsh brush strokes using the tissue paper. So once all done, this is what the slightly vintage shabby chic look uh, with the distressed things would look like. The last step of course is coating the entire box with water-based wood varnish. <music> 